And now to our GMA cover story, that new warning this morning. It says, watch out when you are squeezing those limes into your margaritas in the sun this weekend because you could get burned. Yes. ABC's Paula Ferris is here to explain how. Hey, Paula. Good morning, Michael. Who doesn't like a nice summer cocktail, right? Okay. So, weirdly, this happened recently to a friend of mine. She said at first... Her hands looked sunburned, and then they became swollen. And several days later, blisters formed. It was all because she was making a cocktail squeezing fresh limes. They're some of the best things about summer, lemonade stands and adult beverages with that squeeze of lime. But there is a surprising danger lurking in this summer equation. Certain fruits, like limes and lemons, plus the sun, can equal burns like these. Haley Light got this burn in Guatemala after squeezing a lime into seltzer and then touching her neck. About eight hours later, my entire neck was red, hot, burning, extremely painful. It can range from mild rash to significant blistering all over the skin. So it can be confused with shingles, it can be confused with poison ivy. So here's how it happens. When a chemical found in certain fruits and vegetables meets strong ultraviolet light, the two cause a toxic reaction to the skin. It's called phytophotodermatitis, with a rash forming within the day and sometimes leading to blisters and second degree burns. The most common ones are lime, celery and parsley, but you can also actually see it with lemon. There aren't any real numbers on how common this is, but Dr. Corisani says it's likely underreported. Most often I see with patients coming back from vacations, you can see it around their mouth from biting a lime or on their hand from doing a tequila shot. It felt like 10 times worse than a sunburn. These 7 to 11 year olds were playing in this California backyard when they decided to pick limes from their neighbor's tree. We were daring each other to drink the lime juice, so that's how it got all over her face. But the next day, the girls were in excruciating pain from rashes and blisters, some ending up in the ICU. Dr. Corisani says these burns may discolor the skin for a long time, but it's easy to avoid them. Just wash your skin with soap and water after contact with those certain fruits and vegetables. So again, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water after you come in contact with these particular vegetables. Cecilia, don't look at the teleprompter. What do you think the main culprits are here that we're talking about? A the acid and the lime. Mm -hmm. Lime. And Anything li else? Sun. Lemon. Lemon. Lime, lemon. Parsnip, or parsley rather, parsley. And, and celery. It's actually parsnip, but celery, and we all know everybody's into this big celery craze. So, well, if I don't you're put handling celery in my margaritas. No, but my, <laughs> this, the, this happened, I said to a friend of mine, she said the drink was worth it though. Wow. Well, it's a good advice. Then. So, good advice yeah. and just something to, to look out for right. when you're mixing those summer cocktails. Yeah, and we do mix those. So, thank you, Paula. Occasionally. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.